Winter of the World is the second book in the Century Trilogy, and the characters are the children of the characters in the first book, Fall of Giants. And uh, that's uh, challenging and fun too. The challenge, of course, is that uh, you have to have the old characters in the story, uh, but you have to transfer the action to the new generation. It's the new generation, it's the young people who are doing things and trying to change the world and fighting in war and so on. And yet, I feel my readers are also interested in their parents and how their parents feel about them. The, one of the greatest dramas in life, never mind in literature, is watching your children grow up and seeing how they're like you and different from you and watching them fight the same battles that you fought when you were young. And so, in, and so in a trilogy you get to do that again. You get to show, as well as the terrific dramas of, of war and revolution and so on, you get the personal dramas, the family dramas of parent and child and husband and wife. And uh, for me that's what a novel is all about, the, 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 the mixture of the two. Second World War is very complicated. Germany, France, Britain, and then Russia comes into the war, and then the United States comes into the war. And the challenge for me is to tell all this without it seeming like a history lesson. So what I'm trying to do is to show you the characters that you're interested in, in Germany and Russia and the United States and Britain and to show their everyday lives, and then to tell the story of this terrible war as, as it happened to them, as part of their lives. For them, it's terribly important, but also their love affair is important, or their children are important, their career in, as in, is important, so that the complicated international events don't seem like complicated international events at all, they just seem like something that happened to this group of people.